People of many backgrounds commit terrorism, but the attacks that have happened in Europe and some of the most terrifying all around the world are linked to ISIS, the Islamic State. And in spite of efforts to encourage tolerance and respect for Islam, Muslims in the U.S. have been the targets of hatred and even blame. Well, one group is trying to change that with billboards like this one here in Tampa. Nightside reporter Bo Zimmer went to check it out. This may look like a presidential campaign sign, when you drive by really quick, it looks like uh, making America great a Donald Trump sign. But this billboard along I-275 at Sly Avenue wasn't purchased by the Trump campaign or the Republican Party, but instead the Islamic community of Tampa. Making America great doesn't mean that we have to be all the same. No, it's the diversity that makes us so great. Aida Makik is with the Council on American Islamic Relations, one of the organizations helping sponsor the sign. She says the billboard, which includes a toll free number and the whyislam.org website, is not an attempt to convert people to Islam, but a source of information for people who may have questions or concerns. ISIS is the biggest threat to Islam, um, and this is one way that Muslims can actually show what true Islam is. A newly released report shows between 2014 and 2016, a 500% increase in the number of hate crimes against Muslims. There is a lot of fear with all the terrorism and ISIS going on, but at the same time, there are a very good uh, bunch of uh, Muslim people also. This local business owner admits he at first had no idea what the billboard was about, but now he's in support of its message. I do see the idea of trying to, you know, cut down the fears that people have. And uh, like I says, if they could do something to cut down on violence, absolutely. In Tampa, Bo Zimmer, 10 News. Well, you were paying attention because when we posted this story on Facebook, many of you asked a question about this billboard. You said, is the billboard a problem legally if there's a trademark on that phrase? Now, President Trump did apply for a trademark for the slogan, Make America Great Again, back in 2012. Throughout his campaign for president, Trump's team has tried to crack down on people who are making money off of that slogan. But the billboard is just different enough, even with the style and the similar wording, that if it went to court, legal experts tell us it would be very hard to prove trademark violation.